my last video i discussed about cell division and its types in this video we will learn about the basic component which facilitates cell division and that is chromosomes in this module you will learn about cell division chromosomes structure and constituents of chromosomes and at the last i'll be giving you some important points to remember to begin with let's first take a quick recap of what is cell division and why is it important cell division is the process by which a parent cell divides into two or more daughter cells it is an important process for every organism as it supports cell growth development repair and replacement in many organisms the next question that comes to our mind is what is the basic component of cell division the answer is chromosome let's see what a chromosome is chromosomes are thread like structures that carries the genetic information in the form of genes genetic information like a person's eye color height etc who discovered them in plants they were discovered by carl wilhelm in animals they were discovered by walter fleming what are they made of chromosomes are condensed bodies that are made up of chromatin fiber where are they present chromosomes they are present inside the nucleus of an animal and a plant cell next question what is the function of chromosome if we are studying chromosomes that there has to be some function of it so chromosomes they carry hereditary information from an organism which are passed down from parents to their offspring before going further let's quickly talk about the structure of a chromosome a chromosome consists of two sister chromatids joined at some point along the length this point of attachment is called as centromere which appears as a small constricted area on the chromosome the centromere serves to attach to the spindle fiber during cell division chromosomes are highly coiled and condensed chromatin fibers these chromatin fibers are thread like substances present within a chromosome and they consist of dna and histone proteins as you can see in this picture dna and histone proteins are present together and they are getting coiled and condensed to form chromatin fiber now that we have talked about chromosomes and chromatin fibers our interest comes to what are the components of chromatin fibers what are they made up of how do they help in coiling and condensation so we will begin with dna as one of the components of chromatin fiber dna deoxyribonucleic acid it is a long molecule that contains our genetic information it is also called as a macromolecule because of its its large size it is made up of two complementary strands that means that there are two strands that runs alongside each other the shape of the dna was first given by rosalind franklin in 1953 the structure of dna was studied and given the name of double helix by watson and crick for which they were awarded with a nobel prize in 1962 let's now study about the structure and composition of dna in detail there are two strands present in a dna molecule each strand consists of a unit known as nucleotide a nucleotide is one of the structural components or we can say building blocks of dna if we are saying that they are the building blocks that means that they are going to be giving something some parts to the structure of dna now what these parts are let's study so a nucleotide molecule is consists of three things phosphate group pentose sugar and nitrogenous bases pentose sugar could be different in rna 
and could be different in DNA. Ribose is the type of pentose sugar which will be present in RNA and deoxyribose is the type of pentose sugar which will be present in DNA. If we move on to the next that is nitrogenous bases, so there are four nitrogenous bases that we will be discussing about adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine. Now adenine pairs with thiamine with two hydrogen bonds and guanine pairs with cytosine with three hydrogen bonds. This pairing and bonding is very specific between the nitrogenous bases and in no way thymine is going to pair with guanine or adenine is going to pair with cytosine. As you can see in the diagram given also that there is a phosphate group, a sugar molecule and some nitrogenous base which is attached together. So when these three things are attached the term that is given to them is a nucleotide. In this picture, you can see the DNA strands. The backbone of these DNA strands is made up of pentose sugar and phosphate group. However, the bases, they project inside, joined together by hydrogen bonds. The next component which makes a chromatin fiber is histones. Histone proteins are the proteins that helps in coiling and packaging of DNA. Here you'll also be learning a new term that is nucleosome. When DNA molecule wraps around the core of eight histone proteins which is also given a name as histone optimer the complex thus obtained is called as a nucleosome. Now the next thing that we need to know is how this packaging is actually helpful and why are we discussing about DNA and histone getting packaged and coiled together. We know that the size of DNA is approximately 2 inches and the size of nucleus is just 6 micrometers. So how is it possible for a large size DNA to get rolled and fit into the nucleus? So DNA needs to be condensed and coiled in order to fit in the nucleus which is facilitated by histone proteins and the complex thus formed is known as nucleosome. Let's see how DNA and histone proteins are coiled together to form a chromosome. In this picture, you can see that DNA is getting wrapped around a histone octamer, which is a core of 8 histone proteins. So when DNA wraps around the histone octamer, a nucleosome is obtained. After this wrapping, the entire chromatin fiber is coiled and supercoiled to eventually form a chromosome. Now let's revise what we have learned so far. Cell division is the formation of two daughter cells from one primary cell. The basic component of cell division is a chromosome. A chromosome is made up of condensed fibers known as chromatin fibers. Each chromatin fiber is made up of DNA and histone proteins. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, is a double-stranded molecule. Each strand is made up of a nucleotide unit. A nucleotide is made up of three parts, phosphate group, pentose sugar and nitrogenous bases. There are four nitrogenous bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine which are joined together by hydrogen bonds. Phosphate group and pentose sugar forms the backbone of the DNA Nucleosome is a complex made up of DNA and 8 histone proteins. It is helpful in packaging of DNA inside the nucleus. 
in the next class we will learn about a few important terms which will be used in cell cycle so don't forget to like subscribe and comment below also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you